not the best example, but it'll do. Sometimes it's good to see not the best example because that's real life, right? All right. Anyone have a thought for this? This is a thing like once you've seen it a couple of times, you'll like get a, start getting a feel for it. I don't feel great about it, but my first thought was a DF. You're, that's very fair. And some people, in fact, consider this a variant of DF, although it stains different, it usually looks a little different, and it has different molecular finding. But for a long time, like when I was in training, this was thought to be a variation of DF. And again, some people still kind of hold to that idea. And the cells are like plump, spindled to almost round or epithelioid in some areas. And this one is more kind of spindled and angulated. And they've got some pale cytoplasm. And then in the background, there's dense collagen in between them. Is it like fibrous? Category. Yeah, it's epithelioid fibrous histiocytoma, right. So that's what, a little confusing because that sounds like it's an ep, you know, dermatofibroma's other name is benign fibrous histiocytoma, right? This is, to me, those are identical things. Benign fibrous histiocytoma is dermatofibroma. But epithelioid fibrous histiocytoma um, is actually now thought to represent a, a either a different variation that has a different molecular pathway or just a totally different tumor. I kind of favor the latter because they're usually you have a good bit of difference. This one does look kind of like a DF though. But they tend to be up, up right up in the papillary dermis, a nodule, not every case, but they tend to be like this. They push up, they often get a little collarette around them. This one does not have a collarette, but they often have that. They sometimes have more circumscribed boundaries than this. And um, the cells are like kind of plump and uniform um, with pale nuclei. And then if you do a stain, does anyone know what stain this will be positive for? Alk. Alk 1, exactly. And that's when the when the uh, realization that these are different from the rest of dermatofibroma, benign fibrous histiocytoma came from the fact that these have ALK positivity and ALK gene fusions um, in basically almost all of the cases, a vast majority of cases. So ALK is a beautiful stain on this. And if you're watching at home, I personally find that the clone D5F3, that clone of ALK works really well for this and also for um, uh, Spitz nevi with ALK fusion and, and um, other things. So in heme paths, sometimes they use a different clone, but I found that, that I can't remember what their clone is that, that has been used, but I found that clone is often really weak in epithelial FH or in spitz things, um, whereas the D5F3 stains really nicely. So in any case, just be aware of that. But if you think it's a weird looking DF that's kind of got a collarette or kind of circumscribed or more plump cells, keep epithelial FH in mind. It's totally benign. And so that's why it's kind of nice because if it's kind of weird and you're like, I don't know what this is. And then you do the ALK and it's positive. Um, and you know, the, some of them are more epithelial than this. And you might think of like a molyanocytic lesion. So you can do S100 or SOX10 to prove it's negative. And then the, you know, the ALK is confirmatory. The other thing to know is that these about half the time can express EMA. And so because of that's kind of weird, right? We wouldn't expect the dermatofibroma, a regular one to have EMA. So when these are more epithelioid than this current case, and then have EMA, you might start thinking of other things like epithelioid sarcoma or something else, you know? So um, in any case, just be aware of this little unusual entity. Epithel the other older name for this was epithelioid cell histiocytoma, which maybe is better because that kind of implies that it's something different than a dermatofibroma slash fibrous histiocytoma. But just know this is a thing, and they actually have a much wider range of features than originally described. Sometimes they're very spindle, and I've seen swirly, whirly ones that look kind of like DFSP. I've seen a wider and ever-expanding range of morphology. So just keep it in mind, and if you're thinking about it, try an ALK state. And I've got some more stuff about that on my Kiko um, index.